depths of his kitchen, one man found himself standing before a tray of scorching hot nachos. With the formidable power of SolidWorks flow simulation, he embarked on an odyssey of cheese and chips determined to unearth the secrets of Nacho Cooldown. Hi, this is Sean Mars, Senior Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, and today I want to do a real quick tip for SolidWorks flow simulation. So, you might see here that I have a steady state study that has already been solved, and this is great. It gets my natural convection case all set up, but I want to see what happens if I disturb the flow. I want to make some kind of change in there, and I want to tra track that through a transient study. Now, the problem with the transient study is they take a long time to solve, and I don't want to have to waste time waiting for it to get to the steady state conditions. So, instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my general settings. I'm going to go over to my initial and ambient conditions and choose the parameter definition transferred option. From here, what I can do is I can actually take my initial conditions where my transient study will start is actually going to start where my steady state study has already solved. So that's going to be my starting point now. What I can get from that is that means I can solve this for only half a second, but I get to start it with the conditions already in for that steady state study. And I can do that over and over again, however I want to separate these different effects. So let's say I have something like this. I can start this one where the last one left off already. That's everything I have for you here in this video. Thanks for watching.